Hey y'all, it's Fines Girl and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I have a multi-haul for you. I went to several stores and some of this stuff I have been um, holding back to show you guys because I had other videos to film and I had so much to show you. But tonight I went somewhere else and so I wanted to get some of this shown and I'm going to do that right now. First of all, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe, um, share if you know someone that likes haul videos, and um, leave a comment if you would like to, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and hit that notification bell so you will know when I post. I usually try to post about three videos a week. I don't really have set days. Um, I kind of have a rough schedule in my head, but I don't always stick to that. But I usually try to do three videos a week. So, um, let me start with uh, Walmart because I found some really cool things there. Um, I was kind of wandering around in the kids' department, and I found these awesome wooden toys by Spark Create Imagine. And so, um, they're 12... 12 months plus. It says it encourages hand-eye coordination, movement, and fine motor skills. And they had various ones, but I picked out my two favorites this time around. I may go back at some point, I don't know, and um, pick up the others. But, of course, my absolute favorite was the elephant. And as you can see, it's got four wooden, wooden wheels, and it's heavy-duty, and he's so, so cute. Look how cute this little guy is. All the little details, cute little smiley face, and his trunk, and um, it's thick wood. This thing is sturdy, really, really sturdy wood. It's perfect for a little kid to play with and, you know, just throw around or whatever, and um, I think it would stand up to a lot of wear and tear. And I just thought this was precious. And it was only $2.88. So I thought that was a great price. Um, so I got him. And I also got my other favorite, which is a little blue dog. Isn't that guy cute? Look at him. I love the blue. And I love the uh, turquoise. Or actually, I guess that's is that teal or tur turquoise. Turquoise. I can't say that tonight. Anyway, one of those colors, seafoam, maybe a little darker than seafoam. But these guys are so, so cute. And they're only 28 cent a piece. I meant 28. $2 and what did I say they were? $2.88 a piece. Less than $3. You can't beat that for heavy duty, high quality wooden toys. And I just love these things. They also had that I saw a monkey, um, uh, a monkey, I think it was a tiger, or maybe it was a cat, and um, they had something that kind of went along with it, which I'm going to show you next, but anyway, these are awesome. Get to the store and stock up on these. These would be great in Easter baskets. Save them for birthdays, save them for Christmas. Save them for uh, vacation trips for the kid to take and um, play with in the car. Just run around on the car seat or whatever. These are great. Okay. But I also found to go with those, they had these cute little wooden puzzles. These are so, so sweet. They're only four pieces. Um, you've got the head. And I don't know if you can see the body and the two lower leg so it's four pieces so not hard to put together and it's 12 months plus and of course he matches this little dog and so i thought these were really cool that um it had both of them the only thing i noticed is they didn't have um cars to match all of the puzzles i'll tell you about the other puzzles once i show you this they also had, of course, the elephant, and that's just a cute little puzzle. Look how sweet he looks. That is so adorable. I would have bought these for my kids when they were little. These are precious. So I got those. They also had that 
tiger cat thing. They had a monkey. They had a bunny rabbit. They had a um, penguin. They had, um, did they have another? That might have been all, but um, they were all so, so cute. But these were my favorites, so I picked those up. Okay. I also found this little guy. He's for ages one and a half to five. And so this would be perfect for the lower age group OCC box along with these and the little wooden uh, animal cars. And this is a little, um, one of the little people by Fisher Price dudes. He's got his own little car. And this fella was, I think he was, um, I've already moved my uh, receipt, but he was, um, I think, a dollar fifty. And they had various ones of this. They had some that had girls in them, and uh, different races, and um, just really cute cars, and it was awesome. I thought this was a great deal. This is nice for a little one too. They're heavy duty, and who doesn't love little people? I had so many of those toys when I was a kid. So did my brother. So I got that. And the last thing I got at um, Walmart, I had to get some blind balls. <laughs> and I have already opened them because I didn't want to put you guys through that. I just want to show you right quick. I got an Auntie Annie's um, soft pretzel. Even They even included the little uh, packaging port. I got that. I got the Jack in the Box. Um, some kind of uh, croissant, what did it say? Soft croissant, supreme croissant. It's got that in the box, very cute. And I got um, this, this one I thought was pretty awesome. It's winter melon tea. And I'm not sure where that came from, who sells that? Maybe you guys do. I don't know of any place that sells it, but I don't have that here. But anyway, I thought that was really cool, the little drink. And I got a, and this keeps coming out. Um, I got a Cura Tuna Nigiri. And it's in one of those little uh, things that goes around on the conveyor belt. And you pick them out and it has a little plate. And so I, I, I have one, but I'm not sure if it's the same one that I got before. I have to check. I believe it might be the same one. But anyway, that's very cute. And I got a Pizza Hut pizza. Another one this time. But this one's different. It's t the one that goes to the edge. They take the toppings to the edge. And it looks like, let's see if what they call it. Um, do they call it an edge pizza? Yeah, the edge. So you, there's the box. There's the pizza. And as you can see, the toppings go all the way to the edge of the crust, thus being called the edge. So that's what came in that package, which I thought was pretty cool. And the other one I got, uh -oh. um, it has a um, Campbell's Chunky Beef with country vegetables. A little can, I thought that was really cute. Got that. And I got the um, Frutella. I, I, I don't think I've ever had that before. Squishy, the inside of the package. I don't know anything about those. I wish they hadn't bent the packaging, though, inside the, the wrapper. But anyway, got that. And I got a Slurpee. That's really cool. Slurpee, and what kind of Slurpee is that? Does it even say the names? No. Okay, Slurpee, and I got a Minute Maid. Um, I think this is a pink lemonade. So it looks like that. And I got this cool 
heavy duty coin. Um, I'm not sure what kind of dog that is. I thought at first it was a corgi, but I don't believe so. Anyway, it's got the dog on the front and it's got a D on the back. But this thing is heavy, really heavy duty. So that's a pretty cool collectible. So that's what I got in that. So unless that sushi is the same, I got all new ones this time. Okay. So that's all I wanted to show you from Walmart. And let me show you um, what I picked up when I went to Five Below. I have been waiting to show this. Oops, there's a receipt. I have been waiting to show this to you guys. Um, I thought this particular thing, my first, my favorite thing from there, was a screaming good deal. And I just absolutely love it. They had it in two different colors. It's called Teeny Tiny's... Um, Teeny Tiny's, I can't read that, Teeny Refrigerator. Ages six plus, it comes with 16 pieces, and it looks like that. And if you guys remember, I said I needed something like that to go in the Barbie house I was trying to make for my um, Samaritan's Purse, and um, I found the refrigerator. I couldn't believe it. I was like, ah, in the store. But anyway, it says stock your fridge. Includes one mini fridge and 15 mini foods and drinks. Freezer opens for more storage. So I get, oh, I guess, yeah, I guess that's the freezer. And then you put your produce down here and that opens. And they got the drinks. There's a milk and... Um, I figure I can get some of the, um, the little, um, blind bag things and put them in here, add that to it, and that would be really, really cool. I love this. I wish I had bought more than one of these and gotten one to save for my future granddaughter, and I better have a granddaughter at some point because that is just too precious. I love it. It's really, really, really cool. And for $5, you can't beat that. That's a great toy. Okay. Um, the rest of the things I got there, I got this set of stickers, and they were a dollar. They had these up at the front in the little bins they keep near the door. I thought these were just really cute. Really cute ones. Look at him drink and then you got on the back you got these sweet little stickers so I got those and I got these for a dollar and this is um it says premier 3d erasers and since I'm doing a panda box again this year, these erasers are going to go in that box because it includes a panda. And so I thought that was really cool. And it's got the panda head, of course, as the packaging. So that's really cute. That's going to go in my box. Last year, I kind of had trouble finding some panda stuff. But I've been on the lookout since I planned that out early this year. And I have found a few things. Okay, I found this marked a um, dollar. I, I guess this was uh, originally a different price. And maybe it was like mark because it was clearance. I don't know. I don't know anything about their uh, clearance, if they have clearance tags or whatever. But he's Thor from the Avengers, so I thought that would be great to go on one of my um, boys' boxes. Especially if I do like a super heroes you know, box. Um, but anyway, he doesn't have his hammer, though. So that's kind of not so cool. But anyway, he's going in a boys' box. And I found this cool deck of cards called Happy Daisy Playing Cards. And I thought those were really cute. And, you know, I can always do with an extra set of playing cards. It's fun to play rummy and various card games and solitaire and stuff like that. So I picked those up. I thought those were really cute. And they were in the bins at the front and also a dollar. So all of these things were at the front. 
And then this was at the little thing near the door that has the little things wrapped around it. So that's where you can look for the refrigerator. Okay. Moving on. I'm going to show you a little bit of what I have bought at Dollar Tree because I have a lot of stuff um, that I need to show you guys that I'm not going to film tonight. And so I might as well show you a bit of it tonight. Um, I picked up some of uh, the uh, liquid acetamin, acetamin, liquid fake Tylenol. <laughs> and the reason I got it liquid cold and flu is because my son can't swallow pills. And so I got this for him. The Dayquil basically is what this is. Um, so I got that for him. Um, actually, that son is here temporarily visiting. Um, I got some of this Delta Home Hand Soap in Kitchen Lemon. Nice big bottle, uh, 16 ounces. I thought that this would be great for my kitchen, and I like the lemon scent. I also picked up this cute, precious little uh, bumblebee bucket. I don't guess it's really a planter, um... I mean, you can make it one. What did they call it? They call it just a bucket. You could make it into a planter. You'd need to drill some holes through here so that the water could drain out and you wouldn't rot your roots of whatever you plant. But I just thought that was really cute and it would look really cool with a plant in it. So that's what I want to do with that and stick that on my back deck. And you know, you guys know how I love bees. So there you go. Okay. And the next thing I got, <clears throat> let's see, I bought some more of these. I like to keep these in the car and in my purse, and I um, love keeping those around. Um, I found these Sweet Shop false press-on nails, and I guess... Um, these are for kids. I think they are. I mean, they look pretty small. I'd say that was for that was for kids. Yeah. But I thought those were really cute. And since you can't send um, glue, wet glue in a box, I thought it'd be cool to do these because you just press these on. And obviously, a, a girl would love having the donuts and stuff. So, that's why I got those. Um... I also got the uh, Sweet Shop lip glosses, and uh, they look like this. They look like candies. I thought those were so cute, and I can send those. So, I've got, let me see if I can tell what, flavors. <laughs> not flavors, because you're not going to eat it. Let me see what scents I have. Don't you guys like my little reading glasses? I'll put them on. Yes. Okay. Let's see if I can see with them. Does it say? It's not going to say. I thought it had a particular flavor. Hmm. Well, one has pie on it, and the other has what looks like... I don't know. It doesn't have a flavor listed. Is it on here? No. Hmm. Oh, well, they look like that. Very, very cute. Great for a little girl or a big girl, whatever. And I also picked, the, picked out the other set, which looks like that. Those are cute. All of this stuff from the sweet shop was gorgeous, I thought. They had a whole freestanding thing that had different items in it. And I didn't get everything they had, but... Um, I picked those things out because that was my favorite. <clears throat> and let's see. Oh, I got another one of those. I got two of those. Um, I picked up some of the Big Bold Lashes Mascara by uh, Beauty Intuition. And so it looks like this. I'm sure you guys have seen these by now. And I finally decided to try one out, see if I like it. And 
prices right. So we'll see. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize there are three of the different ones. So I got the other set as well. So there are three different sets and I got all of them. I thought those were pretty cool. Oh, okay. Well, maybe, maybe that's got, I think maybe it is telling me. It's got a donut up there. So maybe these are donut scented. And this is, I guess, cake, cupcake scented. And then I guess that's, what is that? A macaron, macaron, macaron. I guess that's what that is supposed to be like. Okay. And the next thing I got, I got some of these Guru Nanda new Ultimate 2-in-1 Floss Picks. Um, these looked uh, pretty cool because they got the flosser plus the interdental picks on them. And several people in my family could use these, including myself. So I grabbed these to try those out. I got some seeds from my garden because I'm thinking about possibly having one. I haven't plowed up my area yet, but um, I did buy some seeds. I have some seeds already, but um, what is this on my shirt? I decided to get some more. And uh, if you get seeds, make sure you get the heirloom seeds because, you know, you can um, um, take seeds from what you grow and keep them and use them again the next year. You can't do that with the regular ones. But anyway, I decided to try some of this Paris Island COS um, lettuce. I've never really planted lettuce that I can remember. But anyway, I got two of these. And I got two of the um, heirloom summer squash, late, uh, early summer cooknick. And we love squash around here. I like to cook it with some onion and get it almost to, it's like caramelized in the frying pan. Oh, God, it's so good. So, you know, Dollar Tree, four for a dollar, great deal. Okay. <clears throat> I found some of these... Um, oven bags. It says for tastier family meals. This is the large size for meats, fish, and vegetables up to eight pounds. You get uh, four BPA-free uh, bags, um, and it tells you on the back the instructions about how long to cook the stuff and um, things like that and the warnings and all that, but I have never seen these at Dollar Tree. Maybe you have, um, but I have never seen these, and so I decided I wanted to get these when I saw them, give these a try. Sound like a good idea to me. And like I said, I've never seen them. So I, maybe they're new, new to me. Um, this, I'm sorry, this bag is all over the place. I picked up um, in the Easter section, um, they had 35 temporary tattoos. These are um, really cool. They're like summer ones. I don't know exactly why they were in the Easter stuff because it looks like it's got the teacher um, symbol on it. But anyway, um, let's see. Peach tree play things. I don't know, but they had them up with the Easter stuff and I thought those were cool because I'd like to do an ocean box again. And this time maybe for like a five to nine boy and um, so I thought these are just perfect for it. Those are really, really cute tattoos. Love that guy. <laughs> so I grabbed that. <clears throat> also in the Easter section, I got this um, Rainbow High Magnetic Activity Scene. And it includes one scene and two magnet sheets. And the dolls um, are actually like magnetic paper dolls, paper dolls. And they come with their clothes, changes of clothes. So you get two magnet sheets and um, two, what does that say? Oh, that's French. <laughs> two magnet sheets included and you get your dolls, two dolls and their clothes. So you get all that. 
And this is up in the um, Easter basket things. So, that's going to go in a box. <clears throat> I grabbed some of these uh, eyebrow razors. I like these. I don't shave my eyebrows, but sometimes I have been known to run that over my leg in a pinch. <laughs> so, I picked that up. <clears throat> They're great for travel. <laughs> Um, I also grabbed this uh, Zebra um, Fine Liner pen, and of course it's in blue. It's, it's calling it Electric Blue Ink, and I just thought that looked really good. Pretty, pretty blue, because I love blue. It's my favorite color. Let me open it, and I will let you guys see. That is pretty. That is a pretty blue. You know bye. Yeah, I like that. So I grabbed that. <clears throat> and the last two things I got, I picked up this stepping stone that says cute as can be. And I'm gonna put that in the front of my house next to my steps. I think that's really, really cute. I'm not into the gnomes, but this gnome is dressed as a bee, and I think she's very cute. So I got that. They had uh, a nice set of um, new spring bee stuff. So I had to get some of it. And I also picked up this little um, thing here, this little piece of, well, it's a wind chime, hanging decor wind chime. And of course it says, let it be. And they had various, you know, different stepping stones. I think they had various ones of these, but I have to get that when I see it because it reminds me of the Beatles, even though obviously it's not the same bee. And uh, I thought it was cute. And I'm gonna hang that probably on my front porch. I don't know yet. And Nova's looking at it. She likes it. <laughs> so, yeah. I thought that was really cute. So, check out the new spring bee stuff if you're into bees. And pick up some of that. Seeds are out. Um, you know, the summer stuff. Get some of this sweet shop stuff before it's gone. They had other types of items in that uh, particular... Um, you know, I don't know if you call it brand, whatever. Um, but check it out before they all get gone and buy yourself some. And get to Walmart and try to find those little wooden puzzles and little wooden um, animal cars. And, uh, yeah, I think that's uh, a good deal. And uh, these, of course, are not financially a good deal, but they are so, so, so cute. I can't stand it. I just can't stand it. I wish I had never, never bought one of these because now I am so addicted. I told my husband, I said, you know what? You need to buy me one of these every week and bring it home on payday and just let it be a little surprise. But he just kind of gave me a look. <laughs> Anyway, um, I am going to go and get Nova and myself ready for bed. She is sticking her little tongue out. She's got just a little teeny tiny bit of her tongue out. Don't you, baby? What you sticking your tongue out for? Come here. Come here. Let them see you stick your tongue out. You want to get up here? She said, no, forget it. I don't want to get up there. I don't want to be seen tonight. She looks cute, though. She's blinking at me now. <laughs> I guess she's sleepy. So, I'm going to end this. You guys take care, and um, I will be back soon with my next video, and um, probably that one is also going to be a Dollar Tree video. So, I will catch you guys later. Peace.